Hello, we will be learning about identities here. Uh, okay, the first one I write down will be the, I mean, I will be taking the first three at a time. So it's the first one being A plus B whole square. Just be, we need to remember the expansion. We'll be applying this in the questions later on. So it is A square plus 2AB plus B square. You know how this is derived. What does this A plus B whole square mean? It means you multiply A plus B twice, right? When you do so, this is a binomial with a binomial multiplication or a product. So what you do, you multiply the first term with the second binomial and the second term as well with the second binomial. And now if you do so, you are getting a square plus ab. Here also you are getting ab plus b square. That's giving us a square oh sorry, plus 2ab plus b square. See, this is the one which I had written. So it is, I mean, even if you don't remember, sometimes you can derive it as well. So I'm directly writing for the expansion of a minus b whole square. You do the same thing, a minus b multiplied twice. You will get a square minus 2ab plus b square. And the third one is a square minus b square. That will give us a minus b and a plus b. These are the first three identities. We will refer these as identity 1, as identity 2 and identity 3. Accordingly, let's move on to take very direct question of application of these identities. You will come across questions which are asking you to directly find a plus b whole square or maybe the same question I can take to apply a minus b whole square as such. So this becomes if you are trying to identify with the first identity, this becomes whole of your a and b even in the second this remains here a and b. We have seen the formula of a plus b whole square once a square. So it is r a is 2x so it becomes 2x square plus 2a. A is again 2x and b we have written as 3y plus we are substituting it in the identity but obviously with our respective values of a and b. So b square here is 3y whole square. So 2x whole square is 4x square plus 2, 4, 2 to the 4, 4, 3 is 12. So it's 12xy plus 9y square. And this side it will again be expanded based on the second identity. So it is 2x square minus 2a into b plus it is b square. So I'm getting 4x square minus 2 to the 4, 4, 3, 12xy plus 9y square. So it is 4x square. Oh, I made it minus, but I by mistakenly have written it as plus again. So this will be minus 2xy plus 9 square. Or you can be asked to find the square of certain binomials given. Okay. I now move on to apply the third identity. You might come across question which says find the product of the following and they give you this. 3, sorry, 3 by 4x plus 5 by 6y multiply to 3 by 4x minus 5 by 6y. So here you don't need to expand it as we learned in the previous um, session about binomial with a binomial product. 
Here you can see if this is assumed to be your A. And this being B. So it is now giving you the identity A minus B and A plus B. That is expansion of A square minus B square. So our A square is 3 by 4X square plus, sorry, minus B square. So it will be minus 5 by 6Y whole square. So we are getting 9 by 16X square. That is 3 by 4X multiplied to 3 by 4X. Similarly, 5 by 6y, 5 by 6y will be 25 by 36y square. Hope you followed this. So, we move on to taking up more questions in the next um, you know, screen. We'll take up a different type of application now. Here it says if, oh sorry, let it be the if x plus 1 by x is given to be 4, then we need to find the value of x square plus 1 by x square. See, directly finding this value becomes difficult. So, we can just try to apply certain identity by squaring both the sides. We are given this value. So, we will square both the sides by doing so. It will be x plus 1 by x whole square whole square and 4 whole square as well. So we will be expanding this as a and this as b whole square. So we will expand it as a square that is x square plus 2ab, a is x, b is 1 by x, plus b square, so b is 1 by x whole square, and this side it is 4 square gives us 16. So it is x square, now this 2, 2, uh, this, uh, sorry, 2 will be remaining, x, x will get cancelled, so I will be left with a 2, and this is giving me 1 by x square. This is equal to 16. Now you carry 2 to the other side. They were making x square plus 1 by x square as 16 minus 2 that is 14. So you are from the value x plus 1 by x given you can find x square plus 1 by x square. We can take up one more such question in the next screen. So here this time I'll be taking up if minus is given how do you find a plus value like if x minus 1 by x is given as 9 how do we find the value of x square plus 1 by x square. Again, we do the same thing. We'll square this, both the sides of this uh, figure, uh, this expression or equation, sorry. So, uh, we get x minus 1 by x whole square on the left and on the right it becomes 9 square. Expanding this as the second identity applying a minus b whole square. So, it is a square minus 2a b plus b square and this side it is 9 square gives us 81. x square this xx getting cancelled with a minus 2 and then you are left with plus 1 by x square this is 81 and again I carry 2 to the other side there by making x square by 1 sorry plus 1 by x square is equal to 83.
three. You might come across, I mean, these first two identities can be applied to find this out. Now, again, how we can get different type of question in application of these identities? I'll write one more here. Suppose it's given if, oh, sorry, I'll write it properly here. It says if x plus y value is given as 12, as well they give us x y value as 14 we need to find the value of x square plus y square now look at this x plus y whole square if i am writing so i will also be writing i mean if i square both these sides i will also be writing 12 square so, I am getting x square plus 2xy plus y, oh sorry, y square is equal to 12 square gives us 144. Now, <coughs> sorry, xy is given to be 14. So, if I substitute xy here with 2, oh sorry, I am getting this as 14 and y square be as it is so it becomes 144 now x square 12 2 is 28 plus y square and I'll in the next step will carry this 44 to the other side this will leave me in the left side as x square plus y square so it becomes 144 minus 28 that's giving me 116. So it is x squared plus y squared value is 116. You can come across any such question with a negative application as well. That means here we did x plus y. That means a plus b whole square. And there you can also do x plus x minus y whole square. We now take up one more question. Wherein you know you can apply the formula of the identity to find the value of like this one 101 whole square. There is no need to actually do it as 101 into 101. You can simply write 101 as an expression as 100 plus 1 and the square will remain as it is. Now you have come to identify this with the first one. So, this becomes 100 square that becomes always easy to find plus 2ab plus b square is 1. So, 100 square is 1, 2, 3, 4, 10,000 plus you have 200 plus you have 1. So, your answer directly can be 10,201. It is always preferable than to do it as 101 into 101. I mean, the question will read and apply the formula to find the square of this number. Or, I will just do this one more here as 99 supposedly. Not necessary that you will get something wherein the identities are applied or the ex this number will be expanded as plus with a plus. We can always think of even minus. But yes, try to be close to other hundreds or tens so that you get zeros and it becomes easier for you to find the squares of them. So this is a minus b whole square. So it is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So it is... 10,000 again with minus 200 and plus 1. So, 10,000 minus 200 will be 9,800. So, 9,801 is the answer to this expression. We will continue with more on identities and algebraic expressions in the next sessions. Thank you.